during the hiring process, um, it's very easy to overlook really talented people because they don't interview well. RJG works with the plastics injection molding industry. Uh, we put sensors in the molds that make plastic parts. Um, to, to the, the simplest way of explaining it is that we help molders to improve quality and reduce costs through training and technology. We've been in business for just over 30 years now and have uh, right around 150 employees globally. Our uh, journey down this path of, uh, of neurodiversity, we really kind of stumbled into it by accident. It wasn't something we set out intentionally to do. We were just hiring people with, uh, who, who were bright people, and uh, we were, were, were looking for talent. And a lot of times, uh, those bright people tend to be a little bit quirky. And so we didn't even realize as we were hiring some of these folks that uh, we were hiring employees with uh, autism, Asperger's, with ADHD. Um, I myself have Tourette's syndrome. So uh, this is just something that, that, that kind of happened and we, haven't, we don't have an official program, but uh, somehow we, we just ended up doing it. Evan is very humble. Um, having the ability that he has uh, to focus on a problem and solve it, even though in, uh, he is currently a junior in college, uh, the level of technical know-how he has, um, it's beyond the, the, the people in, in his age group. I have actually been playing with computers since I was five, six, maybe younger, so it's been something that I've um, been interested in all my life. I like it here. It's, it's um, a lot more comfortable than I've been at previous workplaces, and it's, it's I, I feel like I'm not out of place here or anything, and there's people that understand me, and I can really get along with and work with, cooperate very well. Yeah, culture is probably one of the most important things about a company, I would say, and RJG definitely has that here a good work environment and work culture. So my son Josh, is, who's 11, is also autistic and he enjoys coming to work with me on snow days or days where school's canceled and just learning how to program and be part of the team. It can be pretty nerve-wracking just not knowing what his future holds for him and seeing Evan succeed gives me a lot of hope for my child. Uh, seeing that he can be successful and do what he loves to do, which is programming. We need to start looking at how we interview differently for people who may have communication difficulties. Everyone has their own unique strengths uh, and it's our job to recognize those strengths and find ways that we can best bring those out of people. And that's not doing anybody a favor, that's, uh, it's something that's good for the employee for sure, uh, but it's good for the company too. We get key talent and in, in the end it's a real win-win for everyone.